my channel. I'm Jaina um, and I'm super excited to be starting this YouTube channel. <laughs> to do this for a very long time and COVID has kind of given me the time to do that. I want to share a bit about me before I started the rest of the video. I am a rising senior in high school and I play the flute and the piccolo. I asked you guys to send me questions on my Instagram for this video so it's a little introduction Q&A. So yeah, I'm now on... Why do I keep doing that? Why do I keep doing that? Now to the Q&A. Well, I threw in a few fun questions too that aren't music related, but most of them are music related. So if you're just here for music video, music related questions, don't worry, they're mostly music related. Question number one is how has your summer been? It's been pretty good. I went on an awesome vacation with my family. Don't worry, we were really safe and we wore masks. It was good. We were safe. But yeah, it's been good. I've gone lots of time to practice, lots of time to just get my college audition stuff ready. The short answer is it's been good. <laughs> the second question is who is my biggest inspiration? Um, definitely my mom. My mom is my biggest inspiration. She is also a flute player. She's the reason why I'm doing music and playing flute right now. Um, I always wanted to be like her when I was little. She really inspires me. And not only because of flute, but like both of my parents, I think my mom and my dad, like. My parents really inspire me because they just have such a strong like love and care for others. My dad is amazing because he literally can do anything he sets his mind to and he problem solves everything. Besides my parents, I've had my band teacher is a really big inspiration in my life and my orchestra teacher and definitely my flute teacher. She like inspires me to get better and grow as a musician and to never give up. So that was a really long answer, sorry. The next question is, when did you start playing the flute? I started playing the flute in sixth grade. That was the first year that I could start here. Have you ever had a time in where you wanted to quit music? If so, how did you keep motivated? Woo! Um, yes, definitely. Um, I think my first like time where I wanted to quit music, I feel like it was like eighth grade. I don't know. It just, it felt like I was never going to be good enough and I was like, I can't do this anymore. Um, but I really like, that was a time where I found piccolo and I decided I was like, wow, like I love the piccolo and that kind of sparked my passion more and was like, oh yeah, you actually like music, like you need to stop doubting yourself. For me, the things that I do when I'm very unmotivated, one, I like to listen to my favorite player or my favorite orchestra, so listening to master classes. Also to keep motivated when I wanna quit is to take a break sometimes. And even if I just take a day break, I will come back the next day so re-inspired. That really helps just taking a break, taking my mind off of it, just spending a day and just doing a puzzle or watching my favorite TV show or getting some good cleaning done in my room. Like doing something besides music and really going to the root of why you love music, really grab hold of that and hopefully that helps you stay motivated. I hope that was a good answer. So, what is a piece that you would recommend to play, like a high level piece? I really recommend playing the Muczynski Flute Sonata. I learned a lot, lot, lot from that piece. It is, it's difficult and it's weird and it's not really in the standard repertoire, I would say, at this point. That has a lot of articulation things in there and it has a lot of technical things and also the rhythms are kind of crazy. So that one helped me grow a lot. So I do recommend that piece. It's also a really, really fun piece to play. Choosing your flute experience. So I currently play a Miramatsu DS flute. I absolutely love it. So the first time I ever played a Miramatsu DS was at our flute, our local flute fair. Um, I was looking for a new flute, like a professional level flute that would take me through college basically. And I went to the flute fair and I tried out like 12 different flutes and I narrowed it down to my top three. So it was a Yamaha 700 series, I believe. Um, a Powell Conservatory and the Miramatsu DS. Those are my top three. Then I think it was a couple months later, I was able to get those three flutes on a trial for a week because I knew that in order to make a decision like that and step up to that kind of flute, I really needed to try it and I really wanted to try it. Um, so I tried the three of them for a week. 
Um, and I think that as soon as I played the three of them back to back, I knew which one was my favorite. So after the trial, my parents actually had a different favorite than I did. They loved my sound on the Powell Conservatory. They loved how that sounded. And I brought them to my flute teacher. I played the three of them without her knowing which one was which. And basically her top two were the Powell and the Miramatsu which were my top two too. They were the ones I was stuck between. So basically I was just like, you know, I really love the Miramatsu DS, even though my parents definitely loved the Powell Conservatory better, but they were like, you know, it's your flute. Like you're the one that's playing this. So it's important for you to love it and for you to feel like it's the one for you. But yeah. Next question is my favorite brand of chips and salsa. Okay, I don't really have a favorite brand. I love most salsa, so I'd say that's my like favorite salsa, but I don't really have a favorite chip. But great question. The next question is how long have you taken lessons? Since my mom is a flute player, like I mentioned earlier, I always like I didn't have formal lessons with her. I would have like short lessons with her, but I literally would ask her questions all day long about how to play the flute. So it was kind of like I had mini lessons every day, all day. Um, <laughs> but I started taking lessons, like formal lessons with my current teacher in ninth grade. Um, so yeah. The next question is what books have you finished? I'm assuming this means like study books. I worked through the Melodious and Progressive Studies etude book in my freshman year. And then I um, did the Rubank, the Rubank Intermediate and Advanced books when I was in middle school. So those are like the books I finished. Um, now I work out of, for like technique and warm up stuff, I work out of the Trevor Y book and I work out of Tofano and Gobert. Right now I'm doing the Bohm Etudes, but I have done the Don John Etudes too. And I've played some Anderson and Kohler too, but yeah. How old are you? I'm 17 years old. I turned 17 like three weeks ago. I don't know, I can do math, but yeah, I recently turned 17, so I'm 17 years old. Next question, how did you start the flute then the piccolo? I'm assuming this means like, when did I start or which one did I start first? Um, so I started flute in sixth grade and I started piccolo in eighth grade. So there's the, I hope that answered that question, whoever asked that. Do you always wear mismatched socks? Yes, I always wear mismatched socks. Even when I have to wear black socks for like marching band competitions, I normally have two different brands of black socks on. So I always wear mismatched socks, it's kind of just my thing. I don't, yeah, it's just kind of my thing, you know? Do you practice every day and how many hours per day? So I do practice every day unless I have to take a break for my wrist. Um, how many hours? So I know I've talked about this on my Instagram before, but I don't practice like four hours at a time. I practice in increments normally. So I practice in um, normally hour, an hour to an hour and a half long sections throughout the day because I feel like I'm the most focused in that hour and a half. If I practice for four hours straight, I'm just not gonna get a productive practice session. So I'm very um, a strong believer that if you have a short and focused practice session, you're gonna be way more productive than doing like a four hour long one. So that's just kind of my, my feelings about that. Thank you for watching this video um, and finding my channel. If you just found it because you were scrolling through YouTube, um, please follow me on Instagram for more content. Um, at gina.pickflute, that's my Instagram. But for all of you guys that are on here because of my Instagram, thank you. My Instagram growth in the past few months has been like, crazy and I'm like so beyond happy that it made that much growth it really makes me feel like the work that I put in <laughs> um pays off and so thank you for that if you have any video suggestions or topics that you'd like me to talk about just comment it down below and I will see what I can do to make it happen we'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>